This is so hot. I can literally like fry a chicken on this or something. Today we are going to be starting the bleach process of my hair. It is virgin hair. Um, I dyed it before. The last time that I dyed my hair was actually... I want to say junior year so it was like super brown up here and then i chopped it here and then it's grown my hair is actually a weird length so if this turns really ugly we're just gonna chop it make it pink call it a day <laughs> the reason why i want to dye it is because we are in quarantine and why not if it goes ugly who's gonna see it except my mom thanks mom i've been watching brad mondo videos because who else am i supposed to watch um prior to dyeing hair so that's what i'm doing you are probably here because one you are a friend or supporter of mine or you don't have money to dye your hair so that's why you're here um i don't know if that's true anyway okay so i'm going to split my hair as brad mondo said i'm gonna split it in fours evenly straight down the back so like I said, we are starting the bleach process today. Okay, that's, that's straight again. I got all of my supplies from Sally's Beauty um, because they don't do curbside pickup in California, only in Southern California. So the reason why I wanted to record this was because one, it could be a fun experience to look at the time that I damaged my hair. This is just pretty much a life-changing event. You can't even lie. Oh no, oh no, it was cute. So the reason why I wanted to dye my hair whatever color I'm going for is because, I mean, I'm young. I get to play around with my hair at this age. And if I was like 50, I mean, yeah, I can play around with my hair, but it's not like socially acceptable. So I'm going to do it today because YOLO. I have my Wella Powder Lightener. It is the color charm and apparently it allows up to seven levels of lift. I have my Salon Care 30 Volume Cream Developer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one scoop of the powder lightener into my little bowl over here. Give it a nice good mixture. Shake, 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 shake. Just kidding. So it's saying one cup of lightener, which is one ounce, and then 1.5 to 2 ounces of the developer. So that's like a 1 to 2 ratio or a 1.15 ratio. <laughs> So in all honesty, I have no idea what I'm doing. I mean, there's a lot of people who do this without doing research. And I am not one of those people. I am not certified, not qualified, but let's get started. I mean, just like everyone else, I'm gonna start off with the brush and slowly work my way into just working with my hands because, you know, you know how that be. This is what my mixture looks like. But uh, it smells like bleach. And there is no going back. Oh, I see I'm missing hella. Make sure to get both sides, folks. Looks like foamy. Like, you know, the Dalgona coffee everyone's making? Looks like that, but white. So like I said, this is only step one of part of my hair transformation video. Um, I still have to color it, which you will see later in the video. Bleaching is going to uh, um, take the most steps just because I have like one number level one hair because my hair is super dark. I always thought that was super unfair though, not gonna lie, because when I was little, obviously I've always wanted to dye my hair like different colors. I even had feathers in my hair. My hair was like super cool to me. Like I always thought I had money to dye my hair. But the thing is, like, because my hair is so dark, I can't just bleach, uh, I can't just dye it with color right away, and I'm gonna have to bleach it. So I thought that was like, hella unfair when I was little, like, how I have to pay more money because my hair is darker. That might just me being, like, overthinking and being super political for no reason. If you think about it, like, a lot of people don't have to bleach their hair because their hair is, like, light. But with me, like, there's nothing I can do without bleaching it. Which, like, super unfortunate to me. All right, that's super patchy. I'm trying to do from like the bottom to the top because once you're at the top, there's no going back. With the bottom, at least you can hide it and you're allowed to make more mistakes. That sounded super deep, sorry. 
I actually give props to myself because I did not think I'd last with a brush this long. But look at me. The reason why I was so bold in starting to dye my hair was because I've always been super crafty. Um, it's always like an expectation versus reality thing, but for some reason I thought I could do my hair. Also, I'm doing this on Mother's Day at 10.34 p.m. I should be sleeping because your girl has a final tomorrow. Okay. Oh my god, this one, this side wants to start already. Girl, stay up. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna do this side. You guys can just watch, vibe, see what happens. It took about three servings, if you will. And it's usually a one to two ratio, so I made three scoops of the powder, six scoop thingies of the developer. I'm honestly gonna stop touching it. Hi guys, I now have two sacks on my head because I wanted to make sure that everything on the top gets not dried out. It does say if you are going to be doing your roots, do not shampoo right before because your scalp, I don't know how to explain it, but there's oils in your hair that are going to be stripped away if you wash your hair and if you put bleach directly on your head, it's going to burn your scalp. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to just let this sit for a while. I do have my timer set. About 25 minutes left um, for me to sit in a bag. Be right back once I wash my hair. This is so hot. I can literally like fry a chicken on this or something. <gasps> oh, my hair's blonde. Okay. It looks pretty good. Let me wash it. I'll be right back. Ready? it is the next morning and my hair looks like this. Last night when I saw it in the video, I was like, wow, I might just want to keep it like this. But now that I washed it out, it's a little not for my liking. In the video, it looks super patchy. Like, as you can see, it gets light, dark, and then light again. It doesn't really look like that in real life. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lighten it one more time. And I'm actually going to bring it a little higher just because it kind of stops down here kind of want it to stop up here so i'm gonna put more bleach up there i realized that when i did the back i kept touching it but i never really looked in the mirror to see if it was okay i'm gonna wait a couple of days just because to let my hair breathe but as you can see on my roots i didn't drench it enough because it is a little bit darker on the bottom something i can easily fix but yeah overall i am liking my hair so far and it looks like we're headed in a positive direction hi guys okay so this is the hair um this is bleached i know i look crazy i look like a sharpie um insert christine's picture here shout out to you you can kind of see some hot roots but it's nothing like too major and as for like the darker parts i mean you know what i did a pretty damn good job for my first bleaching ever and my hair is pretty healthy like there's minimal damage i would say i mean obviously there's some damage going on like i said but like, my hair is pretty healthy. I honestly don't think this is that bad of a job. I mean, this is definitely not salon quality. But last minute, I was just like, I'm going to bleach my roots. And I have the shirt on, so you know what that means. I'm going to be toning. I didn't purchase any toner because I did not anticipate it. I don't know why I didn't anticipate, like, oh, I need toner before i dye it so i'm actually just going to tone it with some purple shampoo i know based on the color wheel um purple is the opposite of yellow so it would counteract and tone that this is more of an orange tone but i don't have any blue toned shampoos conditioners 
toner so we're just gonna roll with what we have which is purple i'm gonna be using the blonde sexy hair with chamomile honey and quinoa bright blonde shampoo for blonde highlighted and silver hair got this from tj maxx i'm just gonna use my bare hands because why me use gloves it's shampoo say hi hi oh man <laughs> So I finished putting the shampoo in my hair and I waited 20 minutes, but I might as well have waited zero because obviously it did not work. Take a picture of me and you next to each other. That <laughs> <laughs> you could see the roots on the top. Alright guys, so here I am. I am toning my hair with Genevieve and I use the Wella T14 toner because they said that's better for darker levels of hair. And I'm washing it out, and I just want to show you guys how I look like a beached whale. My head could literally not fit under the faucet. I was struggling so hard. My back was hurting so bad after this. And I realized I accidentally recorded the slow-mo clip of me flipping my hair. So that was convenient. And then, guess what? I started to bleach that shit again. Ta-da! Then here's my toner once again because I'm a dumb bitch. And yes, here I am. Oh my god, I'm so ugly. Like, dude, I look really gross. <laughs> Sorry about it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to reveal it's not that serious. Here we go. Hi guys. Okay, so I think this is the final look. I'm not completely sure how long this is going to stay, but I'm kind of happy with what it looks like right now. I told myself I was gonna do pink or purple, but I think I wanna wait for my roots to grow a little bit more. My hair still feels really healthy. So it is currently May 28th, and I started the dyeing process on the 10th, which was Mother's Day. So I think that took me a total of 18 days. And I would say my hair's pretty healthy for all that. It got bleached three times, toned twice with real toner. Who knows, maybe I'll chop my hair off. This is just an ongoing process. We're not 100% sure how long this will stay, but I'm liking it. But yeah, I wonder if my aesthetic will change. Who knows? A couple of days ago when my hair was orange, um, I went for a grungy phase, grungy look. Today I went for a beachy look, go girl. My hair's a lot more yellow than anticipated. Because it's super yellow, I might find a way to tone it or I'll just keep using the purple shampoo. To but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my hair transformation video. I had a lot of fun. It kept me busy during quarantine. And I hope this was helpful. And if Brad Mondo is watching this for some reason, please don't judge me. I'm just bored. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below for more. Comment down more video ideas. And make sure to follow me on my social media links, which will be down in the description below. And hope you have a great day or night whenever you're watching this. Bye.